Welcome to the conservatory, or at least the shell of it. So far we've built out the bones and we'll be finishing up the inside here shortly. Now entering in through the front of the conservatory here, we have a nice rainbow arch kind of effect. I'm thinking like a Chihuly glass, uh, kind of mimicking Chihuly glass. And maybe I'll, probably this again isn't totally finished out, but I'm thinking adding some more detail up here. Definitely the floors will get done. So maybe it will look something like this. And here we are, our Chihuly inspired ceiling here, which I think turned out really cool. I used a bunch of little mini blocks that we have from our Vanilla Tweaks mod where the wandering trader comes around. You can trade for mini blocks. Then a fun little pattern here on the floor with a lot of moss and stone. Now these side areas I'm thinking are where we'll have gardens and where we'll have our bees at. So I can kind of keep them contained while keeping the feeling of a very open conservatory in the other areas and not having to have closed off doors uh, to keep the bees in. So if we can keep our bees to these little side areas, that would be great. So I'm thinking flower beds, maybe some little trees, obviously a little bee nests or bee boxes. Probably something, well, something like this. Here's our first bee area with our gardens. We got our beehives all making honey. And the bees, you can see, they can kind of fly above to the other bee area across the way. But they are definitely contained. Unless you're not fast enough getting out of the doors here. And again, I'm thinking the similar thing as the other side on this side as well. Flowers, bees, like this. And here's our other bee area. This is looking pretty good. We have more beehives back here, bee boxes.
for this main area. I'm thinking we're going to have a water feature in the middle here. Maybe some sort of middle custom tree. So a waterfall. Maybe another water feature over here. That'd be nice. Give some good ambiance. Maybe have a fish pond here. And I'm just thinking maybe some additional arches to give it a little more depth. Maybe in some dark prismarine to give a little more contrast to the copper that we've already have put down. And lots of greenery. I'm thinking just bushes everywhere, flowers, green color, you know, like you'd see in a very vibrant fantasy like greenhouse. And maybe, maybe it looks something like this. And here's our main area transformation. We have our tree, our water feature. I added these arches to kind of give it, I saw some inspirational art of like fantasy greenhouse conservatories that had these really beautiful arches. And so I wanted to try to replicate that here with the prismarine. Have lots of greenery hanging everywhere. The glow berries giving a nice lighting effect. We have a little fish pond over here. I put some salmon in here. Sometimes they like to climb up the waterfall. It's quite entertaining to watch. I really quite like how this project turned out. It was definitely a bigger project, but I just love how vibrant it is. I especially like this Chihuly inspired hallway here. I think it's just so fun to see all the little mini blocks. Well, that's our greenhouse for now and our bee areas. This is quite a cool build. I'm really happy with it. I'm thinking for our next build, probably do some more landscaping outside. It is a little bare out there. It's a lot of stone. Just a platform that I built to be able to build this uh, this greenhouse. So I think we're going to do a lot more landscaping out here. And I'd also like to get a, a sheep farm built soon just because I use so much wool for the Rainbow Road um, that I'd like to get a sheep farm built over here that can get they can keep running while I'm in this area. Thanks for joining me today. If you liked the episode, give it a like. If you want to see future builds, uh, go ahead and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Cause